Hi, um, I've had a couple of requests from people to just go into a little bit more detail on how to add blog posts and stuff. So, and to do other things as well, manipulate images and things like that. So I'm going to do a couple of little videos more on that that might be of use to somebody. Um, right, so I've brought up this sort of fake site that I'm just going to use for those purposes. Um, and this is the blog page as you can see here this is how you navigate between your different pages you can see here i'm going to add a shop as well at some point and show you how to do that so i'm on the blog <coughs> design page um i showed you in one of the other videos how to change your blog post or to change your blog sort of home page so that they behave differently and now i'm just going to show you how to write a blog uh, post and how to put pictures into it right so it's really really simple you can either go to my blog here and add a new blog post here or when you first open up your Wix website um, editor you'll see there's a box on the right it'll be on the screen around here that says manage your blog you don't even have to go into your website manager you can just go straight into the blog right so add a title it's more or less there for you this will all disappear everything that's in gray here so add an engaging title so say we're going to say um um i made uh oh my latest project say right and then you can put your name in here if you want so we'll call it is it emily that the name of the owner now blog posts sometimes every, people say keep them really short that's not always applicable because some blog posts are really long and detailed i write a lot of educational ones and they're quite long and detailed they're like five thousand word essays um but in general if it's a craft blog that we're, we're going to be writing yeah keep to the point don't ramble too much although your readers do like there's, there's a big community thing going on in the craft world and so they do like to get to know you a little bit but don't ramble on if you if you really want to share a, a project about how you made a card or a box or knitted a jumper then that's what people are really popping in to find out how to do it so you can just write something like you know if you want to engage your audience about what's going on at the time or um if you've been late uploading so you normally upload on a thursday and it's a friday then you can start off with apologies first of all oh, first of all for not uploading on friday but life gets in the way you don't need to go into detail about what happened to your great aunt Mary's bunions and you know how that impacts on your life. You you can if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, life gets in the way. You know something came up, whatever. It'll do. Um, and then you can carry on. Um, this project was hopefully worth waiting for though as i'm particularly proud of it so how did i make it right now you might want to talk you know sometimes if you write the way you'd speak it makes it much easier for you to write a lot of people are really frightened of writing but if you just just speak out loud like that and just type what you're saying so how did i make it i used all if you're a stamping up demonstrator stamping up supplies for this project um and they were as usual perfect for the job the coordination oh, oh. of colors was simple and the quality of the products was second to none. 
can only say that if you really mean it. Now, then what you might want to do is stick a picture of this project in. So we're just going to go to images and then my um, media will come up. Your media will come up, whatever you've uploaded. Or you can go to your social images. So there you can pick up things that you've put on Facebook, photographs that you put on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere. Um, free images from Wix or big stock, stock images. I'm just going to use an image that I've used for something. Um, I'm just going to use this little card here. So you just select the, the picture and you can edit it, you can add text, you can do things to it here. I don't tend to do that, I just apply it to my blog post. Now you can see it's quite big. If you want to make it smaller you can either use this drag handle here, just click and pull or you can just get an automatically smaller sized image. You can put the image to the left of text so if I was to move it up here say the text would come at the, at the, the right of the image and similarly I can move it to the right just by clicking a line right there. I can create a link to this picture so by pressing the chain links I can link it to a web address, to an email, to the back to the top of the page, to the bottom of the page to an anchor which I don't really want to go into, to a page or to a document. Now you might have a document that tells you how to make this particular um, project. Um, if you click on do document it'll say choose document and then you'll go to your documents gallery um, and I've got one here. I'm not quite sure this is the one for this. It might be by sheer luck. It might be. And then you just click on that and you choose OK. Now, if you didn't have the document that you wanted to link to, to link to, you, what you would do is you would upload that document. So, I'll just go back there. So there you just go to upload document and then you could upload the PDF or whatever, the spreadsheet or whatever from your system and put it in here and then once it's in here click on it and click apply again and then that will link directly to that document. So, sorry. so when you go into preview mode you click on this picture and it will take you straight to that document. Okay, um, now in terms of adding um, watermarks and things like that, there's lots of ways you can do it. I use an app um, called Logolicious, which is on Android for adding um, watermarks. You can do it in PowerPoint. You can set up a template in there. You can do it in Paint. Um, you know, you can do it in various programs. Um, I've got an Apple, I've got an iPhone. Um, and I'm just looking at the moment for a good app to use to watermark in um, on iPhone. Um, I think I found one, but I might talk about that at another point. So that's it, basically. That's how you add um, your picture and that's how you write your blog post. So your blog post really just needs a beginning, a middle and an end. So we've said in it, we've said the beginning, apologies for not, you know, welcome, whatever, this is why I'm not, I'm late, um, isn't it a lovely day, Christmas is coming, or whatever, just introduce it, you know, as you would start a conversation. Um, explain what the body of the text is, so of the, of the post is, so if the main point of the blog post is to demonstrate how, or to to offer a tutorial on how to make something then put that in the main body you can put in your materials um, or you can create an html link to something um, like my stamping blog which is what i use where you can create lists of the stamping up products you've used or there's another one um these are my stamps, I think it's called. And then you can put those pictures that link direct to your uh, online Stampin' Up shop um, in the bottom. And all you do is you just click HTML and then you'll get a code 
from whichever site you're using so if you're using my stamping blog you'll get a code that you enter in there i will do another video on that specifically because i think my stamping blog is great and i really enjoy using that um but then you have to end your post so once you've said how to make it if you're going to put dimensions and the different stamps you've used and you know talk about how you cut it the stamp set you use whatever as much detail as you want or as little detail as you want i mean for instance that is a straightforward three by three card with like a couple of layers so you know most card makers would find it quite easy if you just gave them the dimensions or even if you didn't give them the dimensions if you just said the colors you've used of the cardstock and the color of ink and that's you know the stamp set and that's probably all they need to know then you end your post so you just say oh, thanks so it'll just be i hope you enjoyed this um project i'd love to see what you make so please tag me on social media if you upload images don't forget that you can purchase all of the products products used here in my online store linked below thank you for visiting come again soon and then you can put your names this is emily um right now if you want to you can add a link in here so you can put your online store so you highlight that and then you go to the link and then you go to a web address and then this would link to um my online store and then just click done and that's done then you can make that bold you can change the color so that it stands out you can make it bigger text just by using this bar here and now if anyone comes along they'll just click on there when they're reading it and they'll go straight to your online store you might want to highlight things like stamping up so you might highlight that and again you might change the color of your font you might change the size of your font you might make it bold and you might make a link to a web address and that might be stampingup.com um yeah and that's it basically and then you just put in some tags and categories so you put in paper craft card making handmade whatever and in your categories you you'd have them already set up so you'd put in new categories so you'd have like paper craft handmade things like that and then in your tags you could put stamping up um handmade notelets like that okay you can link to related posts i don't even bother with any of that um but that's up to you but that's that's how you get a blog post written basically then you can save it as a draft and it tells you all the way through you know it helps you and then it'll bring it up in a list of um i don't i want this to disappear but it's not going to disappear it'll bring it up in a list like this um where you can edit it you can bin it you can do what you like with it um, so when you're ready to post it you can go back into edit and you can either just click publish and it'll publish or you can schedule your post there and there you just go in and you put the time and the date that you want it to publish and it'll publish just make sure that this time is set to the time that you uh, time zone that you live in okay so that's it so when once it's scheduled it'll automatically post you can add a whole gallery in you can add video music gifts divides you can add all sorts of things in just play around with it i think the best way to learn how to use some software is to play around with it so just try it out as long as you're not publishing anything or your site's not published you're not nobody's going to see it until you're ready for them to see it okay so um enjoy and if you've got any questions just 
stick them below um but i will be doing more posts that might sort of link into this as well okay thanks for dropping in